I was saying before, thank you for, for joining us. And this is a, a, a short a clinic, we're calling it our webinar uh, for the Bon Sucro members annual report. So the idea today is to uh, give you an overview of, of the steps, the, the process, the, the rationale behind it, and give you an opportunity to ask any questions you may have. So we have uh, to start a little bit of background. So as you know, the, the Bon Sucro's uh, code of conduct require uh, members to report annually to Bon Sucro. And this is an essential part of the obligations of member companies. Uh, and this uh, member's annual report is the method of reporting. So that's how we, we receive the information that the code uh, requires. And as I mentioned, the objectives for today are first to explain how and why to complete and submit the reports and then answer any questions you may have about that, that process. Uh, so we, we got asked from, from some members about what are the benefits to members of going through this process. So we've listed here some of the, of the key benefits to you as companies of participating in the member annual reports. Uh, and how that can create value to you. So firstly, uh, the member annual report helps you to communicate on social and environmental impacts of your business activities and supply chains. So it improves accountability. It's really an opportunity for members to share with Bon Sucro about their key challenges, their key learnings, and their experience and successes uh, so far. So it's really an, an accountability uh, uh, framework for, for Bon Sucro. Uh, but it's not only that, so it also offers uh, visibility on where the members are within their sustainability journey, and therefore it allows Bon Sucre to support you better uh, across different contexts. It enables us to identify best practice across membership, share knowledge and, knowledge and insights uh, back to members, so there's also that let's say servers improvement from the side of Bon Sucro that the, the member annual report helps to, to inform. Uh, thirdly, it ensures that members are aware and align of the latest international human rights standards. So as you know, the code of conduct of Bon Sucro is aligned to the United Nations guiding principles on business and human rights and the OECD guidelines for multinational enterprises. So it's a benefit to you in the sense that you, you by following this process, you are uh, uh, aligning your reporting to those uh, frameworks, which are also required by other systems, by other schemes, and uh, very soon by governments as well. So it, it's a preparation, let's say, to that, uh, to that type of reporting. Uh, and finally, from the Bon Sucro side, this process, because it includes as well risk management and due diligence, so there's uh, questions around legal compliance and, and uh, uh, legal cases or investigations, for example. So this ensures that Bon Sucro itself is carrying out appropriate due diligence and therefore it maintains the credibility of Bon Sucro as a global membership organization. So that's another benefit to members because of course as members of Bon Sucro you want to ensure that Bon Sucro remains uh, recognized, respected and credible uh, globally. Um, the member annual report is done through a tool that we call Bon Sucro Connect and we've put the link on this slide we can share this with you, but it's very easy, it's on our website. And basically it's an online tool that is powered by our partner Supply Shift, uh, which uh, offers a sustainable uh, supply chain technology platform that helps to understand, monitor and improve supply chain. So it's a, a series of surveys that can be cascaded down to different tiers of suppliers. And basically we use that uh, same functionality for the, the member on your report. So, um, it has a selection of features that support our members in completing uh, uh, the reports. There are other tools as well in Bon Sucro Connect, but for the purposes of today, just talking about the member annual report one. Uh, all the account setup and email communications is done through Supply Shift. So uh, the tool was developed with Bon Sucro, but the management uh, and the support help desk, let's say, of the tool is done through our partner uh, Supply Shift. So about the membrane report, what is it? So the, the membrane report uh, consists of three 
mandatory parts. The first one is the code of conduct self-assessment. Uh, is a due diligence self-assessment that companies need to complete that uh, demonstrate their level of compliance with the UNGPs and the code uh, itself. So it is a, a self-assessment and it's important to highlight that everything that is shared in that self-assessment is confidential and will not be disclosed by Bon Sucro. So this um, it is the first part, uh, let's say, of the, of the member annual report is the code of conduct self-assessment. The second part is the continuous improvement report, which is a membership survey to communicate uh, commitments and targets, describe continuous improvement in sugarcane operations and shared learnings. So this one is really about uh, continuous improvement of, of operations, ambitions, commitments, and so on. So it's really about communicating your, your plans uh, with Monsucro. And this one, um, it is... Uh, not disclosed publicly, so your individual responses are not disclosed, but Bon Sucre produces an aggregated summary of responses every year. And then finally, we have a satisfaction survey, which we have introduced this year. It's a very short uh, uh, questionnaire uh, to gather members' feedback on their overall satisfaction with Bon Sucre. This was asked uh, by our board of directors and will guide us in uh, improving the, the services we have to members. So you might remember last year when we initiated the members annual reports, those uh, two first ones were divided as separate processes, but this year they are integrated into, into a single uh, member annual report. Um, so the member annual report is due on the 31st of March, 2022. And the reporting period covers the 1st of January 2021 to the 31st of December 2021. So basically the whole of last year. And that's how we're going to do it going forwards. Every year uh, you have that request for uh, the reporting of a given 12-month uh, period starting from January and ending in December. So a bit of the, the practical part now of how to submit your report. So the first step is to log in. You have to input your username, uh, which you defined when you requested an account. And then of course your password. If you forget your password, you just click on forgot password and then follow the prompt. But basically you, you receive an email to, to set it up. Now, if you don't have an account, and I think some of you don't have an account yet, what you need to do is click on have an access code and then uh, insert the access code that was sent to you by Bon Sucro. So every member, the main contact person of every member uh, should have received an email on the 31st of January with that subject that you can see on your screen, Bon Sucro Members Annual Report 2022, important. And you basically have to copy and paste the, the code uh, on that uh, have an access code screen and then follow the prompt again and, and you set up your account like this. Once you, oh, sorry. Once you set up your account, you have to basically find the, the member's annual report. So you click on the dashboard on that hamburger, hamburger as Matt says, the menu on the left side, top left of your screen. Um, uh, you can also change the language of the platform if you want. There are many languages are available, but important to note that this only changes the language of the platform itself. The Bon Sucro uh, member annual report has to be done in English or the questions are, are in English. Um, then you click on responses within that, uh, that dashboard. You click on the, the menu responses. And from there, you will see the request for the members uh, annual report. So you see it like this on uh, here, the, the bottom left of your, of your screen, you just click on it and you expand into the actual uh, questionnaire, which looks like this. So this is the, the first part. You have uh, a cover page, sorry, with uh, introduction, support links and guidance. So that we have general guidance about completing the, the member annual report and, and so on. Uh, here is where you can see your organizational details. So you can, can expand this section and confirm that all the data uh, we have for your organization is, is correct. Uh, in the case you re responded to it uh, already, otherwise please fill out your organizational details. Um, and then you can click on each section and complete the, the, 
the questions asked. All questions are required. Um, at the bottom there, you can also see the membership categories. So when you get to that stage of the survey, you basically select your membership category and the following final questions that you get depend on your membership type. So if you're a farmer, you get one set of questions. If you're a trader, for example, you're going to get a different one. So it's important that you, you input that correctly. Um, for each section or within the, the, the sections, we have additional guidance. So for example, uh, right now we're looking at the, the self-assessment part. And if you are completing, let's say the legal compliance section uh, on, the, on that self-assessment, you have additional guidance that you might want to read to ensure that you understand what, what is being asked. Um, one important point, so if your company completed the self-assessment last year as well. What we've done now is that all your answers will be pre-populated on the platform. So if there was no change of circumstances or, or if there's nothing new from your side, in, for example, in relation to one of those uh, areas there, you can simply confirm your responses from, from the previous year rather than having to write a new response again. You can do that at section level. So for example, here, you see the respect for human rights section where we asked about the existence of um, court cases, policies, etc. cetera. Um, so if nothing has changed and it is exactly as it was before, you can confirm the whole section saying that my, my answers remain the same. If there were individual changes, for example, we expanded the question here on the grievance mechanisms aligned to the UNGP's effectiveness criteria. So if that particular question was changed, then you can confirm or not the individual question as well. So you have uh, uh, both options. The idea with this is of course to minimize the burden uh, on members. So you don't have to you know, repeat yourself uh, uh, if, this, if the context or the circumstances haven't changed, you can just simply confirm your previous answer. So in terms of submitting your uh, responses, you just click submit at the bottom uh, right corner of your screen, and then you uh, receive, sorry, uh, you receive um, a confirmation. If you have any questions that are unanswered, the system will tell you which questions you have to go back and complete. And basically you have to do that. So you click OK in this first screen, go back to the survey, complete the questions that were not complete, and then uh, uh, submit again. Once, um, sorry, yeah, that's what I, what I was just explaining. Uh, once all the questions have been answered, then you click uh, um, submit again, and this pop-up will appear. You just confirm and you have submitted. There will be a confirmation confirmation screen for, for all of this. Um, in terms of further resources, we have a very complete web page with further information, guidance, and fre frequently asked questions. So this is the link for it. It's done on the main Bon Sucro website. We also have a guidance video with subtitles in different languages that you can watch. It's a very short video that explains the literal step-by-step uh, of submitting what I just did, but uh, with more content and a bit more detail. And uh, you can select the language. So everything that you see here can be translated automatically into any language. Um, so yeah, please do, do use that. Uh, and in terms of next steps, uh, once you submit your annual reports, we will review your responses and follow up with you uh, if needed. And as I mentioned before, for the continuous improvement section of the annual report, we will later publish a summary of best practice and insights from members. So we did that already last year. It's on our website. And it's just a very good overview of uh, our members' commitments, some case studies as well from, from some members. So it's very interesting and something that we want to continue to do this year. So that was it. Um, as I mentioned, it was very short, so it took 16 minutes. <laughs> and uh, we now just open for any, any questions or feedback you may have on the process. Uh, otherwise, we'll just uh, record this session, as, as I mentioned, and make it available. But it was just a very quick overview of the step-by-step -step to respond. Do you have any, any questions or comments?
doesn't seem to be any questions in the yeah, Q&A, Rafa. Ah, oh, here you go. That's it. Ah, sorry, Mary, I just got the, the due date for the, the completion of the report is the 31st of March, 2022. And the reporting period is between the 1st of January last year to 31st December, 2021. So the full of last year, but the, the due date to submit the answer is the 31st of March, 2022. No problem. Okay, so if we don't have any other questions, we're gonna stop now. So it's very short. Hope, oh, sorry. Tuana, congratulations on your certification. Just maybe to clarify uh, if this is uh, uh, the point. So certified members, they also have to respond to the same member annual report. So whether the member is certified or, or not doesn't change that obligation. Uh, however, there are some questions that might change if you are certified. So we'll see, we'll ask this question during the, in the, in the questionnaire. Uh, but just to say, you know, certified members and non-certified members all have that, to go through that same process. Is It applies to all members uh, with no exception of size or region or, or certification status. Okay, uh, Matt, did you receive any any other questions there? I... No, you've covered all those, thanks, Raf. Okay, so thank you very much, everyone. And yeah, really looking forward to receiving your annual reports. Uh, and please refer to our website and all the material we made available uh, if you encounter any 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 issues. So thank you again, have a great day.